I have not had anybody explain it to me better. I, I, I have to agree. I've been doing this yeah, darn stuff for 20 years. <laughs> Me too. I don't. I. I can't think. I literally can't think of anything that you could do better. So whether it's driving your car, or it's managing your business, it's managing your supply chains, or your shipping, or providing defense, or collecting nectar, you have to make sure that the AI is providing you information that's relevant to you. But we have these illusions that build up. So here's how you can the best way to fix these illusions. And that leads us to follow the automation bias, those automation illusions, and make bad choices. The better question is, is it reliable? Think of AI more like your alarm clock, right? I don't say that I trust my alarm clock. My alarm clock isn't saying in the morning, we're really gonna screw him. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna make the alarm. I'm not gonna do it. It was really good. Thank you very much. Really, really insightful. Sunflower, the picture of me is 100% certain I'm a daisy. It doesn't say, ah, I've never seen a daisy look like that. Yeah, maybe it's a daisy. Nope, 100%. I am absolutely certain that's a daisy. So it's up to us as decision makers and us as humans to consider, right? If you are not taking advantage of the power of data and responsible use of artificial intelligence, someone else is. And it's not going to be the people who are programming AI that make those decisions, right? It's people like us who now have some knowledge of the way that AI works and some knowledge of the context in which it must be applied to be able to make responsible, ethical, and effective decisions. I learned so much. Thank, Thank you. you.